Moving on to featherweights here at Fight UK Amateur Championships 3. We've got Kanan Scotney in the green shorts against Matt Capel in the blue and black shorts. And Scotney might be the shorter fighter, but he's certainly coming out throwing hard, David. He moves in and looks to try and get a takedown now, closes man down and gets him to the canvas. Yeah. Furious start from Scotney there. Great start from Scotney. Obviously, the shorter guy, he's got to get on the inside, he's got to negate the reach advantage of Matt Capel, and he's done very well. They've been swarmed his man and got the takedown, but let's see what his grappling is like. Capel looking to be hanging under the head a little bit. But tough in this position, as we can see what Scotney's doing, he's moving the legs free. And without control of the legs, as, as tight as Capel might have that head, without control of the legs and the rest of the body, he's really not going to be able to get that choke. Yeah, I mean, how many times do you see it, guys holding on to the head a little bit too long, and this could be another case of it. Not only do you... Well, I've said that, Ben. I was going to say, not only do you burn your arms out, but it's also not good positionally, but he's ended up on top, so... Fair play to Matt Capel. Huge right hand from Capel as the two broken got back up, but Scotney saw it coming and went underneath. He's got a single. He's looking to transition, see if he can get the hands gripped. He's got a single, looking to pull his man's head away. And get the takedown. Some good takedown defense from Capel in this position, though. Yeah, Scotney needs to run that fight. Get his man off the cage there. Easier said than done. Nice body shots coming in from Capel, giving his opponent something to think about. But as I say, that a huge pickup and slam from Scotney. Matt Hughes style there, straight across the, the cage, and more importantly, into his own corner as well. Definitely. Capel holding on to the head briefly again. Scotney looking to his corner for instructions. You always like to see the fighters doing that at this level. Shows a great, great sense of peace of mind to do it in this, what surely a big adrenaline dump for these kids. Capel does very well, Ben, the regard, regain guard there, excuse me. Definitely. Scotney a little bit. Didn't seem like he knew exactly what he wanted to do. It looked like he had a lot of options, and as it, as it happens, he looked like he was choosing. Capel did the right thing and locked that guard on. Now they're looking to limit the attacks to come down, but if he's going to do that, Dave, the most important thing he's got to do, which he's not really doing here, is hold that posture and really restrict the strikes that are coming. And Scotney's looking to pass him now. Just he has off his back, Ben. Scott now has got the mount position. Here's going to come the punches, I think. Some hammer fists and punches thrown in. Might take the arm, pins it nicely there. Very nicely, and here come the punches mounted up. Perfectly coming in. Capel really in a tough situation here. Referee Liam Roberts taking a close look at that. Scott bringing it's bringing us over. Beautiful work from Scott. He had one opportunity to really finish that fight when he got top position, and he made every, every one of those punches count. A good performance from Capel, but when it mattered, he made that wrong decision, split second, giving up his back, and that was what opened the door. Scotty pounced, and a great TKO win. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner. The Let's go.